Well, I got it. I got it. Of course I got it. I got it right after work. That's right. I got the COVID-19 vaccine. Check it out. Because self-care. I got it because I wanted to get back to my normal. I was one of the first ones that got it. And now I'm helping others get theirs. So let's get it together. Sign up and get your vaccine today, and let's stop COVID in its tracks. Visit igotitms.com. We are all relentless in our pursuit to get better. I honestly just need more accuracy and more distance. Okay. Contact is solid. The spin rate's a little out of control, costing you a lot of yardage. Let's make some adjustments here, and I'm going to move the weight. So I put it all the way back in the heel. Allow the club face to square up a little easier for you. Love that one. You know you can get better. We know we can help. It's Pink Friday 2021, and here's a message from one of our survivors. Hello, I'm Robin Roberts, and I am happy to join the American Cancer Society in the fight against breast cancer. As a breast cancer survivor and proud Mississippi native, I'm honored to support Pink Friday, a fundraiser for breast cancer awareness. We are all, we all have a part to play in this fight, and by working together, one day we are determined to find a cure for breast cancer. Get your tickets now to support this wonderful event. Um, okay, so how long have you been coming to stay? Uh, since 1987. I've forever loved Stansburgers because of the people. Uh, they're real people. They, they, they help the community and their family own and operate. And the food, the quality and service has always been phenomenal. And anywhere I'm at, I, I always recommend people to them. It's, it's great food and you get enough love for your money. If you need a good place to eat and you want a good environment to support the community and support effort of, of the Jackson community, I recommend Stamps uh, Super Burger TV because like I said, I got it. I got it. You already know. I got the COVID-19 vaccine. I got it because you can only do prom once. I got it because my team got big buzz this year. I got it because my wife needs all the help he can get. I got it because this school year is going to be awesome. I got it because I missed my friends. Sign up to get your vaccine today. Find out how at igotitms.com. Joy, let me tell you something. Everybody in Cadillac and Jackson, you did that. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Boy, it's so clean and so dirty. Let me take you. Let me let you peek inside for a minute. Look at this. Yeah. Cadillac and Jackson, I love you and I appreciate you. Oh, let's go! Hey, it's time to hydrate. The best kept secret in sports, no longer a secret. I got it. I got it. Of course I got it. I got it right after work. That's right. I got the COVID-19 vaccine. Check it out. Because self-care. I got it because I wanted to get back to my normal. I was one of the first ones that got it. And now I'm helping others get theirs. So let's get it together. Sign up and get your vaccine today. And let's stop COVID in its tracks. Visit igotitms.com. We are all relentless in our pursuit to get better. I honestly just need more accuracy and more distance. Okay. Contact is solid. The spin rate's a little out of control, costing you a lot of yardage. Let's make some adjustments here. And I'm going to move the weight. So I put it all the way back in the heel. Allow the club face to square up a little easier for you. Love that one. You know you can get better. We know we can help. It's Pink Friday, 2021.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and for all those who's listening and watching it from around the world. And we are now live from the corner of Dalton and Lynch Street. It's the show where we take you inside the game before the game begins. It's it's the free game with your host Charles Bishop and Neely. So get ready because we pregame harder than the other show's party. It's the pregame. Welcome in to the pregame show. It is another glorious Saturday here at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. If Bishop is Neely, where would you rather be than right here, right now, brother Neely? Man, I was waiting on Venerable and Cathedral. You didn't drop. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, you didn't hit him with word power this way. Yeah, that is Veterans Memorial Stadium. Chuck, beautiful day out here to bet. You and I are in opposite end zones. You're down by the field house. I'm at this. Uh, legendary, world-renowned ramp that the Jay says ah. and the Sonic Boom go up. We're going to move around throughout the show when the players start coming out, probably go down to the field and that kind of thing. But, hey, man, shot out the title sponsors this week, Cadillac of Jackson and the Crockman Firm, Attorney Terrence Harris also sponsoring. You see the sponsors around the corner, Churchill. Can I forget BioSteel? Can I forget uh, I forget the Project Architect, et cetera, et cetera. Chuck, it's a great day. It's not a cloud in the sky. We got plenty of water. Kemp is not as hot as last week. And we got, plenty of, we got plenty of water. And I have to say, the stadium staff, they have done a tremendous job in setting things up today. Uh, they're milling about now, uh, getting things ready for a kickoff. But I tell you what, uh, everybody, stepped up efforts to include the pregame show, man. Looking forward to getting into this show. And let's start off, man. We're coming off of a 66-24 victory last week over Grambling. Offense clicking on all cylinders, bro. Yeah, it was. Offense was clicking on all cylinders, man. You know, we're going to get into some of this later, but got to clean up those fumbles. You know, we've literally fumbled every game this season. Uh, fumbled three times against Rambling, lost three of those fumbles. They had a scoop and score on one of them. One thing we've always maintained, or I've maintained, and you chimed in and agreed with, is that nobody's going to score three times on this defense. And uh, Grambling, point-wise, was able to get – north of that, but I just want to point out they had a big chunk play on the run, a blown coverage in the third quarter gave them 14, but that 21st plus point, it came off a turnover that they were able to scoop and score on. If we take care of the ball offensively, Chuck, nobody's driving the ball down the field three times on this defensive score. That is going to be a big look-see going forward, taking care of the football, but 21-17 at halftime, but you come out in the third quarter and <laughs> I tell you what, but they put their foot on the gas, outscoring Grambling 45 to 7 in the second half. Uh, you take a look at the stats, QB1, Shador Sanders, swag player of the week, by the way. 22 of 34, 357 yards. Keep an eye on this, Jackson State fans. He was only five yards off of his career high. We'll see how he improves on those numbers. But uh, you talk about uh, locked in, uh, Shador and the receivers, uh, they were on the same page there in the second half. Yeah, you know, but it started the week before. Uh, because there was a a letdown, if you will, you know, wanting higher performance out of out of those receivers uh, and, and and taking care of the ball and coming down with those contested catches, uh, those 50-50 balls, something that did not happen in Tennessee against uh, Tennessee State. Uh, they worked on it all week long, and you saw that output. Uh, Dallas Daniels three touchdowns himself, uh, and so that ball was spread around to a lot of receivers. And as Chuck just pointed out, Shadur was just five yards off his career high and get this Chuck, although he did fumble and lost that fumble still has not thrown an interception this season. Still has not thrown an interception this season. Uh, you talk about laser locked in focus, uh, QB one. That is what we have in Shadur Sanders uh, in terms of what he's been able to get done. Another added dimension to this offense has been the emergence of running back city on Wilkinson, the transfer from Delaware state huge week last week. 23 carries, 141 yards, and I tell you what, Neil, he's a banger. He is a banger. One thing you're going to hear later on in the day, I will sit down, we have with Coach Prime, and that's the value that he places on what he sees in practice. And uh, Savion Wilkinson got into this starting lineup and got to rock during the games 
because of what he sees and what he does in practice, what Coach Prime sees that Sivion does in practice, I should say. Uh, so when that opportunity came up again, you know, you looked in the, at Tennessee State. We had back-to-back fumbles uh, from Santee and from J.D. Martin. Uh, and then when you look up, uh, he gets an opportunity. We come back here to Jackson against Grambling, and he gets the opportunity and makes the most of it. I'm talking about uh, fighting through yards for the, for the initial yeah. contact, also breaking tackles, and more importantly, taking care of the ball, not turning it over, not putting the rock on the ground. Huge. Not to be outdone, we'll take a look at the defensive side of the ball. Aubrey Miller, he was also named select player of the week. Get this, eight tackles, one fourth from a one tackle for loss. Uh, Parker and the pear tree arbor was all over the place in the hitch. Don't stop, bro. <laughs> Don't stop, Chuck. <laughs> right, as Allison likes to say, this stuff doesn't stop. You know, we use different languages around here. There you uh, go. But she there says go. this stuff doesn't stop. And it doesn't stop. Did you say Partridge in a pear tree, by the way? Did you think hey, that? Hey, man, Aubrey did dog. He did dog. Yeah, did dog. yeah he was all over the place. And, 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 and Chuck, we were <laughs> selling water. Hey, man, now you're going to have folks mad at him because they're the reason they ran out. But look, <laughs> when, when, when you look at what he does on defense, not only that vocal leadership uh, uh, out there establishing and getting people in their right places, but just getting to the ball. You know, he, he calls the fumble. Uh, in that Grambling game that somebody else recovered, but he's all over the place. And, and Chuck, we've set a standard now, man, just uh, three games in, about to play this fourth game, that every week, multiple Tigers are swag player. They're getting, rec- they're getting recognized. You're right. They are very much getting recognized. Again, another multiple week where you had uh, Tigers being recognized by the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Well, as always, Coach Prime sets the tone for the week. All right, let's take a look at Coach Prime as he sets this week up for Mississippi Valley State. And he said, Coach Prime, I was watching your press conference. Some might not understand what you were trying to say when you're talking about being dominant, but I know exactly what you're trying to uh, imply with your team. He said, these guys are not going to make it to the next level unless they're dominant on this level. Mm-hmm. I said, Mr. Gaddy, where you at, Gaddy? Come here. I said, no, no. I said, come here. I said, tell him what you just said. What did he say? He said, if you want to make it to the next level, you got to dominate down here. He said, if you want to make it to the next level, you got to dominate here. He said, I don't think it's right. I don't think it's fair because I think your kids and some of the others in this, in this conference are much better than some other conferences. But what life has given y'all, you got to dominate where you are because that's the way they look at y'all. So when we up here talking to you, yelling and screaming and trying to get out of you, what we know are in some of you, you got to understand, man. You got to dominate. Now I got a few questions. Are you more prepared than your opponent? Are you in better condition? Are you in better condition than your opponent? Do you know your opponent enough to tell your coaches two things about it? Good question, Coach. So you should ask some of them today. Are you, do you know your opponent enough to tell him two things about it? Do you know your position in all the calls and responsibilities or your position? Because you never know when you may get in and have to understand. When the game is on the line, can we trust you? Or do you contemplate failure? What I mean by that is don't throw the ball at me. Lord, don't throw the ball at me. Don't throw the ball. If you're talking like that, you already lost. Well, I hope they don't call the run behind me. I hope they don't call this run behind me with third and two. If you contemplate that, you already lost. Oh, I hope they don't blitz me. I hope they don't blitz me. If a quarterback thinks like that, he's already done. Are you truly committed and submitted to this team, coaches, and staff? Now, this is my final thing. What is a win to you? What is a win? Because we were really dominant at the conclusion of the game. And I glance back like I always do because I see everything. And I've seen about 10 players with attitude, with their faces twisted for lack of playing time or whatever transpired during the game. So really, it wasn't about us. It was about you. And coaches, I need to know that kind of stuff because we were already congested on the sideline. And we dressed a lot of guys out because I felt like we want to reward them. But when I turn around and look and I see guys' faces twisted and we're winning, I got a real problem with that. 
because you're not here for us. You're only here for you. And you have no team concept or understanding at all. Practice dictates everything. What we see in practice, we can rest assured we're going to see it in the game. Now, if you want to change the way we play you, you change the way you play us. If you want to change the way we play you, won't you change the way you play us? Because, God darn it, when I'm watching those practice films, man, I'm seeing some of the darndest things from the darn offensive line and defensive lines that I hadn't seen before, even the linebackers and some of the receivers as well, quarterbacks as well. I'm seeing some of the darndest things on the scout team. I cannot believe it because I know you coach better. I know they're giving every darn thing they got, but they can't make you do what you don't want to do. I think some of you just satisfied to get in the uniform. And you're disappointed because you told folks you played for Jackson State and they don't believe you because they ain't seen you yet. This stuff is real to us, man. These guys, these guys put in a lot of time for this. And this means something to us, our friends, and our family, but us more than anything. So you got to take this stuff serious, man. Because us, for us, it's life and death. That's how we feel about it. Now check this out. 95 short pads outside. Keep going. There's all the stuff left outside. How, how, how we leave stuff outside overnight? Now so if it's missing, you're going to blame somebody, right? Or are you going to take the responsibility? Officer Rose, you pick all this stuff up, didn't you? Yes, sir. Is that your job? No, sir. Okay. So the next time you see it out there, just bring it and put it in the mouth. Let's go. All right. Special team. Uh, please. I want to make some I want to make some Speaking is perfect live TV. This is what, what it's about. Right? No, that's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you, DJ unpredictable up there, he done put that damn thing on 10. <laughs> hey, Chuck, I know I'm getting old. I, I love music, but when music is loud, I'm like that. <laughs> He also had a tremendous respect, which leads us into this Mississippi Valley State game. Let's take a look at Coach Dennis Thurman. Let's say a couple things about last week. Uh, it's hard for me to imagine that you say you love something and you don't take care of it. And by that I mean, you love football, you say. Most of you say, I love football. Then taking care of it is doing the things necessary to give your chance to be great at it. Some of us don't prepare the way we should. Some of us don't work the way we should. And it shows when we start playing games because what happens is we allow ourselves to slip into a mindset of, hey, this is easy. And you take plays off. You take downs off. You guys go to the sideline and you're talking to people in the stands and you're dancing around and you're doing things. Nobody can find you when we're looking for you. I'm sitting there going, but you say you love this game, okay? If you love it, you take care of it. And we need to start doing a better job of taking care of our business, okay? And if it fits, you wear it. Because I'm tired, I really am, of us giving people things that they haven't earned. 
that football team that we played last week, honestly, two long touchdowns, was it them or was it us? Uh, it has to stop being us. If somebody makes a great run, somebody makes a great catch and a throw and catch, okay, God bless them. They earn it. But when we when we just give people things because we don't get lined up properly, we don't take proper angles, we miss tackles, we do things that you sit there and you go, what, what are we doing? If we're going to be dominant, we have to cut that stuff out. You guys got me? Now, you guys always say, yes, sir. Y'all good for that. Stop saying yes, sir, to me. I'd rather you say nothing and go do it. I'd rather you say nothing and go do it. Man, I'd rather you say nothing and just go do it, bro. Uh, BT gives you some words of wisdom to chew on for the yeah. rest of the week, doesn't he? He really does, man. But, you know, what he touched on is what we've been harping on, and that's giving these teams opportunities, giving them giving them reasons to think they can hang with us, uh, giving them extra possessions and taking possessions away from us. We are 3-0, and three games into this thing, and no one has exerted their wheel on us yet. Every time they've scored, sc- scored, scored, we have gift-wrapped it to them. You know, each and every game where they've gotten points, we've gift-wrapped it to them. So what he's stressing to this defense is, guys, if we do what we're capable of, alignment, assignment, and technique, do our jobs, no one is going to be successful against us. But if we keep handing them the ball, handing them opportunities, uh, if we keep gift-wrapping them uh, extra possessions, extended drives through penalties, we're going to get in the game that's going to be closer than it should be. Let's dominate in all phases of this game. Dominate the offense of the game as you can see Mr. Dallas State's players there milling about uh, behind me. But that's going to be a, a, a key theme uh, moving forward because this team has the ability to be dominant, but you cannot shoot yourself in the foot. You cannot give a team uh, possessions to leave them in the game. Yeah, you know, uh, Chuck, I know we're going to get into this at some point, but Valley comes in this thing 0-3. Uh, they come into this thing with uh, without a receiver that has scored the touchdown yet this season. But please don't think that Valley is not coming in here to fight. You know, we saw what happened when we went up there last year, uh, uh, a game that Coach Prime missed when he was dealing with his hospitalization. Uh, and Coach Flea had to rally those troops, and, and we had some moments in that game where we're down. They're going to come in here and try to set their tone in that first quarter, second quarter. But we got to establish ours to let them know four quarters they're in the fight. Uh, and so, as you said, Chuck, their players are coming out now, and I know the Tiger Walk is about to begin, and our players are walking in at 11. Uh, but but Valley is not going to just concede this game to us. That ain't Vincent Dancy's makeup, who's a Jackson State guy. That ain't this team's character. Uh, do they have our depth? No. Do they have our talent? No. But believe you me, they're going to come in here and try to hit us in the mouth first. Our 21st head football coach, the legendary Dion Coach Prime Sanders. Yesterday, that we came here with the whole parade of cards the way Ashley brought us in, our beloved AD, and uh, it's fascinating to me. It was fun. I didn't expect that. I think that set the tone for where we are that moment because the expectation from that moment and the enormity of that moment had to have a certain consistency. And I never want to overpromise and underdeliver. Although I didn't make promises, I made statements. Mm-hmm. And I think we are delivering mm-hmm. on the consistency of that moment. You know, it's things that happen. Also, um, I found out that um, at some HBCUs, they don't accept certain classes from other colleges, mm-hmm. so. 
that was tough to understand because we missed out on a few players that could have been dominant players, but they weren't going to sacrifice that many hours because mm -hmm. they were close to graduate to yeah. transfer. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where that comes from. I don't know. I wish we could address that because there are several players that yeah. were awesome that we could have uh, signed. My ability to communicate. My ability to communicate with my players. I had to because I had to understand them. I had to first communicate with them to understand who they are, why they are, where they are, how can I help them, and how I could be of any assistance, but also lead them in the direction that they should go. So the level of communication, understanding that this kid may not be that, but he is this. That kid don't have that, but he has this. And finding that nugget inside of that kid, no pun intended from nugget, yeah. that makes that kid an asset yeah. and not a liability. Yeah, but yeah, because you gotta understand when when you've been to where I've been and uh, where I stayed for over a decade on the playing side, then on the uh, media side, and talking to the presidents and CEOs and the owners and the GMs and all that, you could sometimes think you, you got the answers, but you don't have all the answers. You got to understand, I'm not gonna say it's a new kid, it's a same old kid, but they have new game. Come in. Yeah. Oh, I love these. You're going to be disappointed, Coach. Uh, 45 minutes, Cam Buckley, 12 minutes. Is the same 12 minutes or this this week? Same this week, Coach. Quay, 10 minutes. It shows Shane Hook. None. Andre Hunt, none. I want to start it. If he don't change it, I want to start it. That's just that easy. He don't know his opponent. I just gave you a whole message this morning about tell me two things about the, your opponent. You don't know two things. Yep, I need to see uh, Dallas. Cool. What that is is, is receivers... And I like film updates per week on who's watching film and who's not So at each position so I know who's prepared. Mm -hmm. And when I see some of the statistics, it don't make sense. And so you got to understand some guys do their thing and they get on a high road and they forget what got them to where they are and they forget the process. This is part of the process. Mm -mm. You're not going to even get the opportunity to get it done on work day if I don't see it at practice. Mm -hmm. You know where my greatest plays occurred? On the practice field. Mm -hmm. The game was just an opportunity for y'all to see how I practice. That's good. I want to clap right there. Anybody that I'm serious, I want to clap for myself. Give me an organ. <laughs> on game day, the things we see in the game for certain players... We see it at practice. Yeah. That's why you may not see them out there continuously, or you see them out there for a moment, and you have to take a mic out. And some guys, we understand, not just based on the way you practice, we got to yo-yo you. Pull you in, pull you out, pull you in, pull you out, you know? Because we know it's gonna go sideways sooner or later if we leave you in there long enough and we can't do it. Thank God that we have depth where we don't have to put up with the foolishness on special teams, offense, or defense. We don't have to put up with it because we're blessed to have depth. Um, okay, so how long have you been coming to stand? Uh, Since 1987. I've forever loved Stansburg because the people, uh, they're real people, they, they, they help the community and their family own and operate. And the food, the quality, 
and service has always been phenomenal. And anywhere I'm at, I, I always recommend people to them. It's, it's great food and you get enough love for your money. If you need a good place to eat and you want a good environment to support the community and support effort of, of the Jackson community, I recommend Stamps uh, Super Burger TV Cut. Like I said, Hey, Roy, you got me there? Well, I got it. I got it. You already know. I got the COVID-19 vaccine. I got it because you can only do prom once. I got it because my team got big buzz this year. I got it because my wife needs all the help he can get. I got it because this school year is going to be awesome. I got it because I missed my friends. Sign up to get your vaccine today. Find out how at igotitms.com. some guys that played the game on Saturday, guess what? That was their last game. There's some guys that played the game late yesterday on Sunday. It was their last game. Yep. You never know when it's your last time to put on these clicks. You never know. So every time you're out here, you want to give it your all. Because at the end of the day, all that matters is what your peers think about you. When they, when they ride with you. When they play for you, you know you develop it at, at practice. That's all I ever cared about is how my teammates saw me. That's all I cared about. And they, they, every last one, I'm gonna tell you what. Hey, his ass is right there. He gonna play every fucking play. Do we have that here? Do you trust your teammates? If you trust your teammates, you ain't got to worry about you trying to do somebody else's job. Because you trust them. Because you know what? Because you see them working. I ain't got to tell you if you're working hard. You know if you're working hard. You know I'm working hard. You know I'm leaving it on the field. Are you that guy? You got to ask yourself. Be honest with yourself. That's the only way we're going to get better. Be honest. We ain't got time, baby. We ain't got time. All right? Leave it on the field. Like every practice, leave it on the, leave it on the field. These practices got to be a lot harder than the game. We got too much talent, guys. But understand, we ain't got a lot of time. Take advantage of the opportunity. Oh, bitch, you ready? Hell yeah! Oh, bitch, you ready? Hell yeah! Steve, bitch, you ready? Hell yeah! Steve, bitch, you ready? Hell yeah! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah man, <laughs> Tiger's ready, Coach. Tiger's ready. Hell yeah! Bring it on here, man. <laughs>
Hey, friend, now we, friend, now three, one, two, three, family. Coach, uh, dominant performance against Grambling. Great opportunity to be dominant again uh, offensively, particularly talk about the running back game going into this week. I think we did a good job up front with O-line, receivers and tight end doing a great job on the perimeter, uh, blocking their guys, giving us opportunities to uh, to hit the creases, hit the holes. And I think we did a good job as far as with Savion, you know, doing a good job as far as um, running tough, making some big runs. JD coming in with a change up, um, creating some um, issues also, some problems for, for Gramlin State. And I think it was a good dominant effect and I think it opened up the passing game. I think they did a good job as far as accomplishing our goal as far as being over 150 yards as far as rushing the football. You know, uh, we talked about when we play our game, nobody can match with us. We went up to, we went up to Valley last year and it was right. tougher than it had to be. Yes. Uh, how do we get the guys focused to not look past this game this week? You know, just be who we are. Pay attention to details. It starts in practice. You know, doing your job, you know, understanding your scheme, your technique. You know, and just play and compete against yourselves. We, you know, we respect all, fear none. So we respect uh, Valley, just like we respect Fam, you, Gremlin. You know, they're our next opponent. They're next on the schedule, and and they're in the way of our of our goal as far as being SWAC champions. Uh, SWAC champions. So we gotta understand that they have scholarship players. They have coaches that get paid just like we do. They're gonna do a great job. You know, they have a great coach in dance. He's gonna bring his guys. They're gonna play hard. You know, anybody that comes to that stadium, anyone that plays Jackson State, gonna bring the A game. We understand that. We know we are the attraction. We know we are the champions, and we have to play that way. And we feel confident in who we are, and we have a great leader that installs it, that in us every day as far as being dominant and don't play to the opponent's capability, but play to our standard. You know, the standard is the standard, and we understand that, and we believe in that truly. And there you have it from Coach Flea uh, as we take a look at this Jackson State versus Mississippi Valley State matchup. We're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Here are some uh, wisdom words from the coaches. Uh, Coach Hart, stop the run. That is the number one priority today for our Jackson State football team. You've got to be able to stop the run. He's expecting an old-fashioned uh, barnyard battle, if you will, uh, where it's going to be their offensive line versus our defensive line. Who's going to win? Second part, uh, we've got to be able to establish physicality. Start fast. Attack, attack, attack. That's from Coach uh, Brett Bartoloni. And then – uh, they're expecting some different looks from uh, guys along Mississippi Valley's front front four. Uh, in particular, Ronnie Thompson is a name that you're going to keep your eye on with regards to Mississippi Valley State. Uh, he is one of the top uh, defensive linemen in the country, uh, one of the top in the top ten in sacks uh, in the country. This Mississippi Valley defensive line they do a great job in terms of of attempting to stop teams with the resources that they have. Uh, and Ronnie Thompson is one of the better ones uh, in the swag. So we'll take a look at that today. Uh, but there you have it, pregame show uh, in terms of the content, uh, in terms of bringing you some live footage here from Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. But I tell you what, it's going to be Mississippi Valley. It's Jackson State. Jackson State uh, is tremendously up in this series. But, you know, Valley always brings uh, uh, a lot of uh, intensity uh, to this robbery, this in-state robbery. So looking forward to it. Uh, but, of course, you can catch us with the Wednesday wrap-up of this week's action, Mississippi Valley and Jackson State. It's the pregame show. It's Bishop and Neely here on the Black College Sports Network. And until next week, you know how we always close things out. We got a team by golly. We're going to fight by golly. We're going to win by golly. Looking forward to a great one today. It's Bishop, it's Neely. It's the pregame. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and for all those who's listening and watching it from around the world. And we are now live from the corner of Dalton and Lynn Street. It's the show where we take you inside the game before the game begins. It's, it's the free game with your host, Charles Bishop and Neely. So get ready because we pregame harder than the other show's part. It's the free game.